What is up, guys? Welcome back to Space Engineers, episode 19. Today, hopefully, I will be doing something really cool for the base, and I'm sure the base will appreciate it. I really want to build a force field shield to cover this thing, because even with all the guns that I have, I still take some pretty fair damage, and it's making it pretty hard for me to make any other progress with my drill and other stuff like that. So, today I think is gonna be interesting. I still have not unlocked all of the shield stuff. So, what I need to make is a shield controller, large grid, which really doesn't take very many components at all. Uh, the displays, I need more displays, that's fine. Displays. Let's make 100 of them. And then we'll put our controller. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Where do we want to put you? Maybe in this corner over here. I unlocked new blocks, but I still need those displays. So I'm going to grab those first. I need, I need two of them, but I'll grab ten. So I'll get the controller built, and now I should be able to build the emitter. Which I'm not sure what that's going to take. There we go. Ship and station shield. Holy moly. 1,200 computers, 980 superconductors, and 6,000 steel plates. Which I think I still have quite a few steel plates. Still have 6,000 of those. But I don't have 920 superconductors. So I'm going to go ahead and craft a thousand, hopefully. I don't know how much gold I have, actually. How much gold do we have? Do we have enough? Seven thousand. Yes, we do. Awesome. So, let's go ahead and get a shield emitter station. I'll get you. Grab some of the stuff that we need. Oh my goodness, this thing is freaking huge. Mm. I don't know if it matters where you put it. So I'm going to put it right here. And my nanites, for some reason, are just not working. Why aren't you guys working? Let me check on our production. This is going to take a little bit. So another mod that I did just get because our nanites are just doing nothing what's it called build build and repair system i'm going to take a look at this thing okay so it has some conveyor ports don't know how this thing works not enough motors and storage of course there's not enough motors and storage there's never enough of anything let me clear that real quick because i want to get these motors 300 for now. I'll get this placed. I think I'm going to put it up here. I don't know which way it needs to face. I don't know if it matters. I'm going to place it like that. See if it works like this. But I need those motors to finish it. And then I wonder if it will use assemblers just like the nanites should. How do you work? Let's take a look. Block is off. Building over dive max required input 12 kilowatts. That's it. Block is switched off. Use conveyor system on. Walk mode. Weld before grind. Okay, so ignore. Build new when checked. We'll also construct weld to function only. Welding priority. So it's got some weird stuff. Definitely not used to it. I don't know how this is gonna work. Let's turn it on. Oh goodness, what's going on? It's doing things. What are you doing? Just bouncing back and forth? You don't have enough stuff. Oh my goodness. 
Wow. So it does assemble on its own, huh? No way. We can't be that easy. So it's 39% right now. Oh, actually. Energy low. Never mind. The nanite facility is crafting things. So if the nanite facility is crafting things. Meteor storm inbound. So this is missing superconductor still. Does it use field emitters? I don't remember seeing that in the list. Shield. Yeah, I don't remember. Oh, no, it does. Okay. So it's at 39%. What are you doing? You're on. Build repair. Oh, so this thing. Whoops is taking the items, right? No? Okay. okay, let's turn you off. Why does it say it's missing those items? Huh. Hmm. Oh! What'd you do? I heard something. So this is still producing. So where's... Where are all those parts? Similar there what is going on I'm so confused right now where did my items go so they're not in here and they're just disappearing maybe I should have watched a video on how to use the build and repair first <laughs> before I tried to use it because my items are being crafted, but they're just like going where? Where are they going? Okay, so I'm gonna let this finish all of this production and then see if this thing does anything. I think it is working. Oh, it is, okay. It's just slow because I don't have the items, but, and I'm also missing platinum. So while that's finishing with its production, I'm gonna go ahead and take my little ship here and get some platinum because I did find some platinum and uranium and all that good stuff when I was out so yeah I'll go harvest some platinum real quick and I'll be back alright so I got a pretty small amount of Platinum. So what I want to do is move that over. Start producing the platinum so that our thing can finish doing what it needs to do. Which is finish welding this thing up. And it's going to take a minute because I think I need to finish quite a few of these guys. Alright, so there's only a few more emitters to be crafted and I think this is all it needs left I can't really tell because I keep putting my welder up to it and I can't see the emitters it's kind of like dropping off the screen and I don't know how to scroll down on that right thing so hopefully this is the only emitters left to finish this thing up we'll see if not then I can craft some more and so far this thing up here is actually pretty cool it can't produce things for me with the assembler but if I have the items that I do need and I put some stuff down it seems to work really quickly so I might disown the nanite facility maybe it hasn't been working very well for me and this thing seems to be working pretty good and 
Hopefully. Oh. Oh boy. Oh snap. There it goes. It's finishing its. Is it going to go 100%? Oh buddy. That is awesome. What's orange mean? Oh, the shield's already working? Does it work just right off the bat? Oh, that's cool. Okay. Energy. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to make it bigger. That's what she said. But, okay. I'm, I'm really excited right now. I really want a force field. So we'll do that, and I think, can I control it from over here on this thing? Is this where I do the controlling? Um, I don't know. Or do I control it from this? I thought I saw something right here. Control panel. Um, I'm at her online station. True, true, true. False. Okay, so that's not it. Controller. Shield charge rate. Percentage of power the shield may consume. Extend shield. Sphere shield and fortify shield. Ignore battery input power. I wonder if this has to go on the roof. That's what I'm wondering. If I put it on the roof, will it cover everything? Alright. Let's try putting this thing top of the base. Let's see if that kind of changes things at all. If it doesn't, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But I'm going to turn the build and repair back on and let it whoop, do its thing. It should be able to finish this up fairly quickly. There we go. Fighter ship shield is just outstanding right now for some reason. I, don't know, I wasn't messing with the wrong emitter, right? Was I? Maybe I was. And this thing should start back up. There we go. That's it? So how do I make it bigger? How do I cover the whole base? Oh, wait. I think I was messing with the wrong control. Size width do 65-ish. Height depth 65-ish as well. Uh, height 65-ish. How does it look now? Oh, there we go. Okay, so I don't need the height. Right, it's big, but I do need, yeah. So I was messing with the wrong controller. I think I was messing with this one. So I'll leave that and then go back to you. The height, I don't quite need that high. Hmm, it's not bad. It's covering the whole base. And then some. It's a little bit big, so I think I'll bring the height down a smidgen and bring the width and depth into about 60-ish. How's that looking? Not too bad. Pretty good coverage. I think I'll leave it like this. It looks silly with the emitter here. I'm probably going to end up putting it somewhere else. I'm not sure. But we do have a shield, and that's awesome. I don't know how well it's going to work. Hopefully it works pretty well. I'm going to mess with it again. Let's see. Controller. Charge rate full. Power skill. Don't care. Uh, depth. With offset. I don't know what these are. No battery input power. I'm gonna leave that one there. Select shield visibility Energy always low. visible. Show hit wave animation disable audio warning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So that should be fine. And we should be pretty safe in here. It's a pretty big shield. <laughs> That's for sure. I don't know how much power this thing is drawing. Hopefully not a lot. Let's go ahead and recharge my health and stuff real quick. That's good. And how are we looking here? Current output is 2.41 megawatts. Not very much. Uh, maximum output is 36, so we're good. Power-wise, we are good. We have a shield. I don't know if anyone's going to come attack us in this video. Probably not. So the build and repair works pretty good. I'm going to set something up for that. I'm going to make its own little tower or something for it to do its stuff. I'm going to eventually have like tons and tons of resources available for it to use because it can't produce its own. And I think there's a way to make it use the assembler. I think it involves scripts. But that's for later. Way later down. For now, it works pretty good. I like it. I'm going to leave it like that. And our refineries are still cranking pretty slowly on the platinum, but that's okay. Uh, the large cargo. Where's my platinum? Oh, it's in the assembler. And staying in the assembler. That's weird. It shouldn't be. It should be getting pulled back out. What is going on? Something funky's going on that I don't really want to deal with right now. Oh, you know what? No? Everything looks okay. I was wondering maybe if something blew something up, but it doesn't look like it. It should be. Should be going back in. Strange. Okay. That's fine for now. Aside from that, I think that's going to do it for this episode. It's a little bit shorter, but I wanted to get a shield up and try out the new build and repair, and I like it. It's a pretty good mod. You should check it out. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.